on the hate speech bill, Green Party TD Patrick Costello said that it will be up to juries in the courts to decide whether a statement qualifies as hatred. Under the bill... So if somebody given... goes online and gives out in very strong terms about a transgender woman um, going into a girl's bathroom... What the bill says is that if there is legitimate criticism, that will be accepted. Who, that's, I and suppose if that's my question. Who decides what's legitimate criticism? That's really where, where, where well, we're at here. Ultimately, isn't it? ultimately, I guess it's going to have to be a jury who decides some of this. And so it's you a could jury end up of in the court peers. before that decision's made. Uh, there's going to be lots of, as with any crime, there will be guidance to prosecutors. But is that kind of ambiguity not the exact thing that lost the government the referendum in the context of durable relationships? Would you be concerned that that uh, uh, vagueness around the legislation and how it's going to be interpreted by uh, a, a panel of jurors might end up causing even more controversy around this legislation than we've already seen to date? Firstly, on this legislation, this is an important programme for government commitment. Um, as Minister for Justice, I will always listen to the Gardaí and what they are telling me right now is that we do not have adequate legislation to deal with hate crime and to deal with incitement to hatred. So despite there being a suggestion that what we are proposing here is radical, that it's vague, that it's going to have significant implications, we are the last country in Europe to have hate crime legislation. We are the last country in Europe to update our incitement legislation, which is already there and dates back to 1989, but doesn't take into account the fact that we now live in a digital world. We also don't have incitement to violence legislation. So this isn't new, this isn't radical. The 89 Act already has incitement to hatred legislation. Hate is not defined, but that is not the problem with the legislation. The legislation is not workable for different reasons, and that is why we are updating it here. Other member states, as I said, we are the only country to not have hate crime and hate, uh, incitement to hatred legislation. No other member state defines hate. No other member state defines the word that they use where they replace it with a different word other than hate. And the sky has not fallen down. So the suggestion here that this is radical, that this is vague, this has been in law since 1989, and there has never been a challenge or a problem with defining hate in this legislation. So you said that you said that there's no uh, incitement to violence in Irish. Uh, like, like, is it currently legal to incite violence? If somebody was to do that, would that not be in breach of Irish law? Obviously, if somebody commits a violent act, that no, is but, committing but, a crime. But, but, but what you had said earlier was that there is no legislation in Ireland around incitement to violence. I'm saying currently, if somebody was to incite violence and go out and say, let's attack this individual or attack these, this group of people, would that be legal currently? What I'm saying is we don't have incitement to violence legislation. The Gardaí are telling me that that is prohibiting them in actually doing their job effectively. We don't have hate crime legislation. What we have is incitement to hatred legislation, but it's not updated. It doesn't take into account the fact that we live in a digital world. So we are behind. We are laggards when it comes to protecting those who are most vulnerable in our society. There are people in this country who are not safe because of the actions of others. And if we do not update this legislation, I believe that we are letting them down. So there's currently no, sure.